So I saw this post on Twitter, and all I could think was, You poor summer child. You have absolutely no idea what's in store for 2024. This is about to be the worst year of comic book movies ever. But there might be some hope ahead, so let's talk about it. Last year I made a video about how Flash, Shazam, and Ant-Man flopped. My take was that comics have always kind of ebbed and waned in terms of public popularity, and I stand by that take, but there's no denying that every major studio, Disney, Marvel, Sony, Warner Brothers DC, they're all taking this quantity over quality approach. And while it might have worked in the first three phases of the MCU, it clearly isn't working anymore. There were a lot of movies last year that I actually liked. I really enjoyed Ant-Man 3, The Marvels, and Blue Beetle. I didn't really care for Flash, but at the same time, I didn't really hate it either. I think the amount of hate that the 2023 slate of superhero movies gets is blown way out of proportion, especially when you look forward at what's coming in 2024. We got three Sony movies, one DC movie, and one MCU movie, which made me dub 2024 the Sony Year of Slop. A lot of people say the MCU is getting worse and worse, but I'd argue that it's always kind of been like this. For every Avengers 2012 and Iron Man 2008, we've had an Iron Man 2 or a Thor Dark World. The MCU isn't now, nor has it ever been, on the same tier as Tim Burton Batman movies or the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. That's not to say they're not good, and that's not to say that some of them aren't great, like Winter Soldier, but I think there is just a little bit of validity to the Martin Scorsese criticism. What I'm saying is that the MCU has created a very mediocre bar of quality. But what's worse than the mediocre bar of quality for the MCU is the abysmally low bar of quality for the Sony Marvel movies. Don't get me wrong, I love the Venom movies and I love the Spider-Verse flicks, but think about Morbius. Everyone wanted to point at Shazam, Flash, Black Adam, or Aquaman as the canary in the coal mine that signaled the downfall of comic book movies, but I really think the telltale sign was Morbius. The way Sony takes advantage of the Marvel branding just because they can is extremely misleading to casual audiences. Your neckbearded buddies might know that Morbius isn't canon to the MCU, but that's not everyone. It's certainly not a majority of the people that actually go out of their way to see these in the movie theaters. So when I see that they rush production on Madam Web, or that all the villains in the Spider-Man 2 video game just happen to be the same villains that have their own Sony movies, it just makes me extremely nervous to say the least. If you want to say Morbius was the only bad Sony movie and that Venom and Spider-Verse are good actually, then I'd raise you one bloodshot. Bloodshot and Morbius are a lot alike. Whereas movies like Venom or Spider-Verse have some sort of heart and soul to them, movies like Bloodshot, Morbius, and even Hellboy 2019 just don't. And that's why I'm expecting that sort of vibe from Madam Web and Craven. I'm hoping that Venom 3 is going to be good, but honestly it feels like a 50-50 moonshot. Maybe less than half of that if the baby Spider-Man leaks are true. And I feel pretty similarly about Deadpool 3. Don't get me wrong, I want it to be good, but to be brutally honest, I just was not the biggest fan of Deadpool 2, and I don't think it was anywhere near as good as Deadpool 1. Let's consider the fact that this is the MCU's first attempt at something R-rated. And then I want you to remember how Kevin Feige lied about the brutality of Moon Knight. I just don't have much faith in the project. I want it to be good, like I really, really want it to be good, I love Deadpool, but I'm just not getting my hopes up. But Joker 2? Joker 2 seems like everything I could hope and dream for in a superhero movie. Joker 1 was a movie that touched my soul in such an odd, unexplainable way. I made a video about that a while back, but put simply, Lady Gaga is one of my all-time favorite music artists, and musicals are kind of my guilty pleasure. Not musicals like The Sound of Music or Grease, but musicals like Sweeney Todd, Moulin Rouge, Phantom of the Paradise, weird-ass goth trippy musicals, that's what I'm into. And that's kind of exactly what I imagine Joker 2 is gonna be. This is my prediction for the movie. Joker is in Arkham where he meets Harley. And just like the first Joker movie, we won't know what's real and what's not until the end. But when Joker and Harley are together, they'll share a delusion, and that false version of reality will be expressed through song. Harley is going to think that Joker is some kind of calculated genius. She's not going to know that the entirety of his endeavors in the first movie were all based on dumb luck and circumstance. And when that cognitive dissonance breaks, and Harley sees through Arthur, their shared delusion and song will break too. So that's my prediction for the movie. It's a sequel to one of my all-time favorite superhero movies, taking on a niche that I absolutely love, and doing it with one of my all-time favorite music artists. I really could not be more hyped for Joker 2. But that's enough about 2024. I've already written it off as another year of shitty comic book movies, but what about 2025? I think 2025 is going to be the make or break year for comic book movies, and that's going to decide whether or not comic book movies stay popular for another 10 years, or if the public is going to lose interest in them. And if that happens, it'll make them kind of a niche nerd thing again, rather than a mainstream one. But you have some of the biggest names in comic books dropping movies in 2025. Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, hell if the rumors are right, we might even see two Spider-Man movies next year. 
So we've got six or seven comic book movies dropped compared to 2024's five. And whereas 2024 is kind of like the B-tier superhero movie year, 2025 is the one that has all the big names. So are all those characters going to oversaturate the market? Or will one movie doing good get people interested in the rest of them? We got Spider-Verse 3, and I'm sure that'll be good. And there's another rumor that we'll get Spider-Man 4, which I think is a little bit less likely. But hey, let's run with it. Spider-Man 4 is probably going to be mid, just like the last three Spider-Man movies. But I mean, honestly, you take what you can get. The other MCU stuff I expect to be more of the same. I'm not really here to talk about that. No, I don't want that. Give me the cheese. The Batman 2 seems like a surefire crowd pleaser. Most people seem to really enjoy the Batman 1, myself included. But what I'm really curious about is James Gunn's Superman. His Suicide Squad might be my all-time favorite comic book movie. I'm very curious to see how James Gunn's take on the DC Universe shakes out. I'm cautious, I'm nervous, but I'm optimistic about James Gunn in the MCU. I can't say the same thing about Kevin Feige in the MCU anymore. One way or another, 2025 is going to determine the future of comic book movies. If any of these movies flop, Batman, Superman, Captain America, I feel like that surely spells the downfall for the genre as a whole. But if James Gunn can actually get people invested and interested in Superman again, then I mean, maybe there's some hope up ahead. On my world, it means hope. Hey, why'd you add black to it? Because, Lois, even in the darkest times, hope cuts through. Hope is the light that lifts us out of darkness. I must go back. <sighs> I don't think comic book movies are going to disappear overnight, but I do think that the pandemic and the strikes hindered every single comic book movie that's been released in the last three years. Am I huffing copium with that one? Maybe. But with 2023 behind us, we can at least see the shape of what's not working anymore. And 2024 seems to be shaped out of that same mold. My hope for 2025 is that comic book movies can break that mold and find a footing with casual audiences again. But the main takeaway I want you to get from this is that 2024 is going to suck. And it's probably going to suck worse than 2023 did. The real telltale sign about the future of comic book movies is going to be 2025. The box office successes and failures of those 2025 movies will be a canon event. This was something that kept coming up over and over again on Twitter, and I felt like I just had to talk about it in a video, and with it being the new year and all, you know, perfect timing. So happy new year, Super Swim team. And if you want to see a preview of what I got coming in 2024, then you can check out the Super Swim Jam Pack here. It's a preview of my next two videos, which might take a little bit longer to get out. I'm thinking it'll probably be February before those come out. So I wanted to throw this together real quick and then also give you a little preview of what's coming ahead. So happy new year, Super Swim team. So what do you think is going to happen with the future of comic book movies? Are there any comic book movies that you're excited for? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you for the support. I'd like to thank my lovely supporters on Patreon, and I'd like to thank you for watching the video. With all that being said, I've been Swim, signing off.